Looking to improve your game? You can now sign up for CFB Pro using the promo code LVD, get access to articles and deck guides by the world's best. Hello and welcome to another standard gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at a blank green control deck titled Cram Control, as voted on by my supporters on Patreon. And it's a control deck featuring Cram Session, the two mana sorcery that lets us gain for life and learn. And we've got a nice seven card sideboard and best of one here to choose from, including environmental sciences to her land drop, containment breach as artifact and enchantment destruction, introduction to prophecy for card draw, annihilation as removal, and then double mascot exhibition as a nice finisher and confront the past to destroy planeswalkers or get back a planeswalker from the graveyard and we do have two copies of professor onyx as a nice finisher the six mana five loyalty planeswalker with magecraft saying whenever we cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell each opponent loses two and we gain two then the plus one gives us card advantage making us lose one life and then we can look at the top three cards of our library putting one of them into our hand rest into our graveyard minus three gives us removal making each opponent sacrifice a creature with the greatest power among creatures that player controls and the minus eight ultimate can also close out the game for us and professor onyx also synergizes nicely with our author big expensive card which is harness infinity a seven mana instant at mythic saying exchange your hand and graveyard Exile Harness Infinity. So this is perfect as a curve topper in a control deck, since we get back all the removal spells we've cast earlier, and we can also get back our win conditions like Professor Onyx, which also helps us fill the graveyard with the plus one ability to make our Harness Infinity even better. So let's take a look at the rest of the deck at one mana. We even have some hand disruption with two copies of Duress. Typically not a card I love main decking in best of one, but it's nice here because our deck is very much focused on dealing with creatures and other permanents on the board, so having a bit of interaction for control decks to maybe take away a counter spell so we can resolve Professor Onyx and Harness Infinity is quite nice and then later we can also get it back with Infinity and cast it for one mana to further disrupt the opponent. Then we also have two copies of Bloodchief's Thirst, can deal with small creatures, can also kick it later to maybe deal with a big planeswalker or author of creatures. Then a two mana, two copies of Heartless Act as more spot removal, two copies of Wolf Willow Haven which can help us ramp, can also sacrifice it to make a wolf and then later get it back with Infinity, and then a full playset of Cram Session, the life gain useful against aggro decks to stay alive, and we also have some life loss built into our mana base with Castle Lockthwain, so more life means more card draw, also good with our Professor Onyx. And then of course all the lessons give us alternative win conditions and more cards to put in our graveyard to eventually get back with our Harness Infinity. Then at three mana we've got two copies of Elspeth's Nightmare where all three modes can do a lot of work between destroying a creature, making the opponent discard a non-creature non-land card and exiling the opponent's graveyard. Then we also have two copies of Mythos of Nethroi as another versatile removal spell. We even have Indatha Triome which we can also search up with Binding to give us access to white mana so Mythos can destroy any non-land permanents besides just creatures, two copies of Cultivate to give us a bit of ramp, then at four mana the full playset of Binding the Old Gods giving us removal and ramp with the second chapter, two copies of Solemn Simulacrum which also helps us ramp, can maybe jump in front of an attacker to save one of our planeswalkers and to draw a card at the same time, and then we can later get it back out of the graveyard with Infinity, and then we've got a few sweepers with two copies of Extinction Event and two copies of Shadow's Verdict, and then Elder Gergroth can also help us close out the game, and the rest can maybe clear a path to make sure the opponent doesn't have an answer for Gergroth, so it can take over the game. And then of course our two copies of Professor Onyx, two copies of Harness Infinity, and then the mana base also includes Field of Ruin to answer opposing value lands like various castles, as well as Crawling Barons, which can also be a nice win condition, and then four Indatha Triumph, which we can cycle and search up with our binding, besides four of the Black Green Pathway, six basic forests, six basic swamps, and then the full play set of Castle Lochthwain, which is also an important card draw engine and combos nicely with our Cram Session. So that's our deck, now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the draw with a fine hand. Harness Infinity, not really a card we want to have in our opening hands, much rather a draw late. But uh, still nice to eventually get access to it. Alright, opponent on a blue-red Dragon's deck, probably gonna take the Test of Talents. And uh, yeah, don't really care about the Sweeper. Eventually Magma Opus is gonna be a problem, but... We'll take the counter spell for now. And then cram session for environmental sciences so we can hit our land drop. Bonin makes a treasure. And Bone Crusher just as a 4 3. Can uh, next turn maybe binding it. 
for now get a land. Take four. And binding seems good. Cannot be countered by Test of Talents, which is only instants and sorceries. Opponent makes another treasure with Magma Opus. So they might have another Opus in hand that they want to cast. I could binding to destroy a treasure token here as well. Uh, Nightmare is probably going to be too slow to take away the Magma Opus if they draw land in the meantime. So, interesting spots. I don't hate binding on a treasure here. And then if they miss their land drop next turn, I can maybe Nightmare and snipe another Opus in their hand. Alright, they missed their land drops, so and Nightmare might get the job done. So we'll Nightmare, and then we can still Cram Session. And probably time for Exhibition, or I could get Containment Breach, but it's not necessary to blow up the token here since we can take away one of their cards. Yeah, mascot exhibition seems fine, although it does get swept up by the sweeper they have. So maybe I would rather just keep hitting my land drops with prophecy. That opponent just makes another treasure with magma opus. So if they play a land and have a third magma opus they can cast it. So it's going to be Prismari Command to draw to discard two. But the Nightmare is going to hit. And eventually exiles their graveyard two. Galazeth Prismari is fine. So they might not have any non-creature spells left here for us to take. Nope, they still had a Magma Opus. And we can kick this. Still play Prophecy. Next turn, clean up their graveyard. Probably don't need Extinction Events, but I'll keep the lands since, again, we just want a lot of lands for Infinity. And our opponent scoops it up. They didn't draw a relevant card. Next turn, Nightmare exiles their graveyard. We can cram session for a mascot exhibition and then infinity to get everything back. Sweet, on to the next one. All right, we're on the play with uh, an acceptable hand. Bit of interaction with the rest and binding, plenty of ramp. And then if we draw any of our curve toppers or even a castle to start drawing more cards, we'll be happy. Don't have to dress on turn one, so I'll probably wait one turn. Give them the chance to maybe draw into more non-creature spells. Alright, double Bastion, probably want to take one of those. And then the other we can maybe Binding. There's Bastion, so we can clean that up with our Binding. Field of Ruin can answer an opposing castle. Dramatic Finale still dies to Binding. And there's our Harness Infinity to eventually get our removal back. Take one. A 
hunt for specimens, get spec summoning. So extinction event on Even is eventually going to clean up all those tokens. Actually, let me cast it now before they get to sacrifice all those creatures to a plum. And it also exiles a shade, which is an annoying threat that keeps coming back. So I can field of ruin, although we want to save this for Castle Lochthwain. So yeah, let's just extinction event on even. And then might want to hang on to the triome to cycle. Well, that's a close call because having a lot of lands in play for infinity is also useful. Play Solemn. Get a Swamp. And then cycle Triumph end of turn. They can Heartless Act to Solemn, that's fine. Just means our Infinity gets even more value. And we even have access to Mythos to destroy another enchantment if they draw another Bastion. Still at a healthy life total, plenty of cramp sessions to gain more life in the deck. And that can also clean up their tokens. Might be a bit drastic since Deep One probably wants to fire off this uh, plum anyway. So I'll just pass. And then could decide to fire off an end of turn Harness Infinity, which would get back six cards, including the rest. Just the village rights for now. Bastion, we can Mythos. Maybe should have cast Mythos in response to the token entering the battlefield, but I'll do it now. That way if they want to plumb, we don't take one combat damage. Alright, opponent's gonna plumb and drain us for two. Probably not worth it to draw with Castle, it costs us four life. Ooh, Professor Onyx is great. And kind of liking the cramp session, strangely enough. And then maybe go for Sciences, hit an extra land drop. And then next turn Infinity is going to be awesome. There's another Bastion, can easily deal with it. And a Skyclave Shade, so... Verdict... Seems like a good starting point. Cam plus first. And how about another Crime Session? The rest also reasonable. Just filling our graveyard for infinity. Village rides to sack shade, although it's still gonna get exiled here. And then we can cram for the containment breach to destroy Bastion. Play lands. And then Infinity, I could also cast in my upkeep, so we still take our draw step. And we've got 16 cards in Graveyard, so I like our spot. Probably just take our draw step and cast another Verdict. Do I have the mana to Verdict and Infinity? I do. Alright. Start here. Doesn't even trigger Eye Twitch. Ah, oh, opponent scoops it up before we could Infinity. 
but yeah, we were gonna end of turn, infinity, get back... What is it? 17 cards plus whatever we milled with Professor Onyx. And then Professor Onyx could just minus 8 to close out the game as well. So it would have been sweet. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with the fine hands. Cram session can find sciences, hit or land drops. Double binding for ramp and now cultivate too. Facing a mill deck. Alright, so gonna need to hope to answer the cram before it does too much damage. And there's an answer. Opponent casts an opt-in response. Alright, they are playing blue-black. Found our land so we get to cultivate. So maybe this is a rogue stack without Lurdus, meaning they might have Zareth as one of their rogues. Mythos a nice answer to have access to. So let's check out our situation here. Alright, two removal spells and a lock mirror serpent. So that's eventually gonna be a problem. Take Heartless Act over Eliminate since this kills the Gergroth. And then Yeah, we'll cram session for sciences, I think. Just want to keep hitting my land drops. No shortage of answers for the Serpent. Tutelage can also be bound. Now the Serpent can exile stuff from our graveyard, so that's going to make our Infinity worse. And our deck doesn't win particularly quickly. So I might have to get a mascot exhibition with our next cram session to try and close out the game. Professor Onyx can be dealt with. If I won't be given a second chance, I'll make my own. So for now we managed to deal with the mill aspect of the opponent's deck, and there's a cram session, not a good one. At some point we want to consider getting forest over Triumph, since Triumph we can at least cycle, but for now I'm still happy hitting my land drops. So, probably go for binding on Professor Onyx. And then cram session for mascot exhibition. Sure. Uh, did the opponent mill Professor Onyx by any chance, in which case we can confront the pass it back? They did not. Another tutelage. We'll have to mythos that. And the Rune Cram, we can Extinction Events. Or Nightmare, even better. Yeah, at this point I maybe keep Triumph in the deck to cycle. Another Tutor Lich, alright. Next cram session might need to get a Containment Breach. So is that all the two religious? I guess they've got one left. We're down to 32 cards. And our opponent discarded Lockmere Serpent, so they can get it back by exiling cards from our graveyard. A 
Heartless Sanct a cheap answer for the Serpents. Taken into the story. Alright, we've got our board pressure now. Which we can back up with Heartless Acts. Eliminates the 4 4, sadly. They might use Drown as removal instead of a counter spell. Alright, Gergroth is great too. Bonus Graveyard's gone. So we'll attack. I'm assuming Gergroth gets countered. But so be it. So still about halfway or library for tutelage, so unless they find an into the story, we're still safe. Alright, Mythos can deal with Tutelage. Could have considered drawing with Castle 2 there. But uh, let's attack. Bonan flashes in Serpents. And we get to kill it before it gets to block. They could sacrifice a Swamp to draw. They don't. Deal 5. Killed Tutelage. And then we can still draw with Castle. Alright, so don't hit our spot. If they drew a land, they can get back Serpent and cast it. Thirst kills a token instead. And then they can get back Serpent, exiling five cards. Still plenty of value here if we find the Harness Infinity, so not too worried. Don't know if our opponent's paying too much attention to what they're exiling with the Serpent. Ooh. Hello there. Alright, let's hit for two. And then... Probably wanna just cast this now. We will have to discard to hand size, I guess, is the drawback. Yeah, I guess we can wait. Cast it at instant speed. If they drew a counter, it's unfortunate, but then they also don't get to play Serpents. Alright, just a land. And how about a nice Harness Infinity? Despite 10 cards getting exiled, still pretty good here. Oh yes. Anything we want to cast end of turn, doesn't look like it. Start swinging. And then we want to be mana efficient. Serpent, we want a heartless act. Play Gergroth. And then... What else? Solemn, maybe? Sure. Could also decline if we're afraid of getting milled, but we still have 22 cards left. And then discard to hand size, don't need Shadow's Verdict, can get rid of a few lands. Elspeth's Nightmare probably not needed. Extinction Event can go. Cram Session's nice, but probably not necessary. And our opponent packs it in, they're pretty dead here. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw, facing a Yorion Sky Nomad deck, so it could be Control. Our hand's fine, got a bit of ramp, Cram Session to get whatever we need, and a turn one duress. Do I cast it now? Could wait until we want to resolve something important. 
So I'll hang on to it. Opponent's Sultai could be an ultimatum deck. So I want to cast the rest of the turn before they could cast an ultimatum. Alright, disruption counters Haven, that's fine. More cram session. It's gonna be an omen. And then what do I get with cram session? I'm okay with sciences, prophecy. Those are at the top of our list. Probably go with prophecy. Opponents got their own haven. And another duress I like. Still wait on the duress for a turn, I think. The only drawback is maybe a test of talents countering it and grabbing the other duress. Crawling Barons is useful. Yeah, I guess we'll do rest now. Alright, double ultimatum, can grab both. Although I can wait a turn on the other one and then just put counters on Crawling Barons for now. It's more mana efficient. Since they won't be able to cast ultimatum yet. They're also a bit heavy on green mana, so they won't actually be able to cast ultimatum on curve. So if I activate my crawling barons, they can remove counters, but it doesn't even kill the crawling barons with Heartless Act. So yeah, let's get busy. And I'm probably going to end up taking the ultimatum anyway. Infinity can get back the rest if needed. Although I probably want to wait until we can get more value. Extinction events deals with Yurion, opponent forced to play binding just to ramp. So if we cultivate, we can still put counters on barons, but not attack with it, that's fine. Right. Cultivate gets negated, that's fine by me. Opponent can grab a Triome. And then they can't even play Yorion this turn since they don't have double blue. It's a bit of an awkward turn for them. I'll level up Crawling Barons. A Nightmare. Could play just to get rid of whatever they maybe draw with the Omen. And I also want to empty my hand for Castle Lochthwain, so... Can play Nightmare and still attack with Crawling Barons. Opponent's cries. Bottom, bottom, that's good. So, nothing to flicker with Yorion now. Another Haven is acceptable. So next turn we get to take the Shadow's Verdicts. 
and we get to keep attacking with barons. Can activate it twice, in fact. 2% lethal next turn. An extinction event can clean up the Yorion as a blocker. So, yeah. Seeing our creature land do a lot of work against the control deck. There's Yorion, so they have to make a wolf so they can survive. Otherwise they're dead to my extinction events. They don't. So we can event on odd and attack. And we still have a Harness Infinity. Should the game drag out, but might as well end it here. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw, facing a Gigantha the Wellspring deck with a solid hand, assuming we can find land 3 for Cultivate. Opponent Red Whites. Extinction event lines up pretty well against Spirit, and so does Shadow's Verdict. So Naya color deck puts Gigantha in hand turn three, so not the most exciting start. And we get to ramp. If this is a Toski deck, yep, Extinction event on even will get rid of both. An extinction event is one of our few clean answers for Toski, so glad to have it here. And next turn it's time for Gergroth. Hope they don't have a giant killer. Showed another skulls to refuel. Finds Sentinel, another showdown. Can go Haven into Gergroth. And hopefully Gergroth survives. Another Spirits into maybe second showdown. Okay. So we can Shadow's Verdict. Keep Extinction Event for future Toskis. And we see Felder Retreat, also powerful addition to this deck, with a Fabled Passage to go with it. Can the rest to have a look? Could also Verdict, since we're going to do that anyway, see what we draw of Gergroth, assuming we draw a card. And then maybe we'll find like a cram session we want to cast instead. All right, another showdown and retreat in hand. I think retreat is scarier with all the fable passages they have access to. But they will have more card draw with showdown, so yeah, opponents getting their value, that's for sure. Binding can answer retreats. Makes another 2 2 token. And then I mentioned I'll play a beast here. So, drawing an untapped plan would be nice. Field of Ruin will do. So, we can binding the retreats. And Extinction Event on Even, although then we get rid of our answer to Toski. It's probably a risk I'm willing to take here.
And Garagroth can keep attacking. Professor Onyx is great. Put us down to 8 in the meantime, so the Magecraft trigger also going to be quite relevant. They can grow the beast and enable it with the other beast in hand, but Shadow's Verdict can clean that up next turn too. Bunch of Sentinels. Innkeeper, sure. We definitely got lucky to draw all our sweepers in this matchup. Since you can see how much this deck can get out of hand if it chains together Showdown and Toski. Attack. And we'll draw. And then hopefully we can close out the game with Onyx next turn. And yeah, going Onyx into Cram Session next turn will do it. So might as well Nightmare. Want to empty your hand for Infinity. Gigantha finally comes out. But little did they know that we're gonna burn them out with a life gain spell. Right, Pono's got the Bone Crusher. So nothing to take with Nightmare. The Death Touch on Gargroth also pretty good combined with Trample, since that means. We only assign one damage to each blocker, the rest tramples over, so our point was dead on board before we played Professor Onyx, but seems like a fitting way to end this series. So yeah, our deck definitely performed. Maybe didn't get to cast as many Harness Infinities as I would have liked, but it was always in our hand, waiting to be cast and completely take over the game if needed, but it was never really needed, so... Yeah, the deck's a ton of fun to play, and we even beat some pretty competitive standard decks along the way. So it might even give you a good shot on the ladder if that's what you're into. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.